Welcome to Cypress Creek Adventures. Hey there. Well, this week we're going to do a little something different here on this episode. We have a neighbor's rabbit. A couple blocks over, I'm on the edge of town. Has taken up residence here at my place for, oh, I guess, a couple of months now. Nobody's been able to catch him. And it's a pretty big rabbit. He's been living under my buildings, and both my buildings are sitting on concrete blocks, so he has plenty of places to, to escape. And he get about a few inches in front of him, and, and he hops under there, and you can't get him. And we've done dip nets and chasing and just about everything else. So this week we're going to build a live trap and see if we can return a rabbit to these children up the street. So I gathered up a few uh, odds and ends that I've had here, and... As you know, I do construction, so I've got endless supplies of cutoffs and such. So we'll take these here. We'll get the table saw out and and uh, and make some the pieces that we need. And we got this wire here. We'll make a a box style uh, trap. We'll just keep it simple, and you know, we're not gonna put any money into this thing. We'll just we'll try to get a hold of the rabbit so we can re return it to the children. Okay, so I've got a kind of a rough idea what we want to cut out and we'll put plywood on this bottom and then we'll rip out some like one by twos and stuff here on the sides so we would make it 24 inches long and eight inches wide and this gives us an idea what we need to cut out all the rest of this will be wire and then we'll put a slot in the front here and then the door the door will come in from the top and fall and then we'll come across the top here with this center board and make a trigger and then when the rabbit comes in here, come in the back, take the bait, flip the trigger, and then the door falls down and closes and, and Mr. Rabbit's inside. Okay, so now we're going to measure this up. And we come in here. Make this about an inch and a half. That would be good fine. And put these blocks on here with these. My table saw's got a little wear on it. So I put these clamps on just to hold the fence tighter. All right, so now we'll go ahead and cut, cut out all we can get out of this one piece. All right, so we got three pieces out of that. And so we'll get cut out the rest and see if we need more. And that's what we have to start with. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, I cut these two pieces here. These will be the uprights on the on the front of the trap. But what we need is, is we need a groove in here uh, for the door to, to fall in. So we're gonna make this half inch deep and we'll run it through uh, a couple times to get this wide enough so that when we put the door in here it'll fall down in these slots on on both sides
Okay, so we got these, I'll clean this out. And we have uh, our grooves on both sides of these. And I'll take and just cut this, these little fins right out. They'll, they'll pop right out of there. And so then we have our groove for, for our door on each. And then they'll go on here like this on the, on the track. Got this one cleaned out here. And all I do is just take, take a screwdriver and push these across here and just snap them off. And these uh, they come out pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, we're building a trap for, for a rabbit. So let me pull these out, scrape that out a little bit, and then we got our our two grooves for, so that the the uh, door they'll go right on here like this. And then on the back here, on the back of our board, then we have these two so we get ready to put the screws in these and and get this set up and then uh, we can do some of this live right here it takes some of these uh, drywall screws will work fine so we'll take and put this on here So there's one side. Flip this over. And put the other one on this side. We don't have much room here to work, so we'll do the best we can. Okay, we'll get a screw started. And now slide this up here. This should be difficult. So, oh, we need to back that off a little. All right. So now we have our we have our door. Move this around here, and you can see the slide in here. So that'll be we we'll get this stabilized, and we'll put a a board across here, and then we'll put the the two back pieces on connect it all up and then we'll be back so now I've completed this part here and we've got the front done and we have a brace piece here and so down on this end we have our, our end piece and now we're going to put uh, now we'll put a piece from from the back here to the front uh, in the center and all that does is to uh, is for the trigger Okay, so changed up a little bit here. I decided to, to go ahead and just put another piece of plywood on the top here. It would be a lot rigid, more rigid. Uh, we're just going to use some chicken wire on the sides. Uh, if I, the, when I make these, I usually use like the one by two dog wire that's real stiff and just make a tube more or less. But uh, for this, the, uh, we're just using whatever we have on hand and uh, to make this trap. So we'll go ahead and attach this and then uh, we'll be ready to put some wire on. So we'll use these, these screws that we've been using and uh, doesn't take too much to hold it down, just put, put one on each corner. And the thing's squared up here nicely. And uh, a real expensive box trap when these have a heart. Uh, Kind of traps there about fifty dollars, and we're going to have zero in this because all this stuff is just found materials. And we'll put another one right here. That ought to hold it pretty well. Okay, as you can see now, we have our basic trap, and there's the other side. Okay, as you can see, I got a piece on here. And Kind of got it started here. I'll do a little bit, show you a little bit of what's going on here. I'll just use this, this staple gun. I'll staple this right along here, and uh, it'll hold more than what we need to do here. I'll kind of straighten and stretch the wire. This is repurposed wire, and I don't know. A couple years ago. I, going down the road and there was a 
like a half a roll of this wire laying on the side of the road and I've been using it for uh, all kinds of stuff ever since so don't be afraid to pick up stuff and repurpose so I've got this row here tight so I'm going to go down here and we'll stretch this and make this so this is nice and tight get a staple in this corner I'll just go right down here Staple this all the way in. Oh, gotta get more staples. But that's all. Uh, that pretty much shows how to be. If I was using the other wire, I would use the small uh, fence staples. And but for this, I'll go back and, and touch these with a hammer just to make sure they're down. But they're they'll hold way plenty for what we got to do here. So I'll finish this up and get the wire on the other side, and then we'll be ready to do our door. I got the wire on here all the way around and I cut a door out of a piece of uh, a thin plywood and it already had some paint on it so but that that'll work fine and now we're going to install the trigger this is the most important part and all I did was just take a piece of wire uh, stiff wire that I had and uh, what we do with what this this will work like this we're going to take and just set the door barely on there and then what we're going to do we're going to take this spot right here where I've got marked out and take a drill bit and we'll make a slot here and then when the rat when this is hanging down inside the rabbit will push against it and the door will close so it's very simple and we put the wire in there and get a couple of uh, small fence stables here just to to help steady the wire so it'll go back and forth so we'll go ahead and drill this out and see how it works out test it see if this is a uh, is enough we let that slide there and then we just let that go there and then the wire hangs down inside and we'll just use the oh, we got a board here we'll use this and then you're just taking and when the rabbit hits the wire then the door falls so that's all all there is to a trigger so just a simple thing that it, it, it's almost foolproof and uh, with this slot right here uh, you know the wire can go back and forth so the rabbit doesn't have to do anything but come after the food and whether it's on one side or the other uh, it push it's going to be pushing against the wire no matter what and then the door falls and it and we have the rabbit so I'll get a couple fence staples and then uh, we'll be back and and we'll set this up and and we'll see if we can catch the rabbit tonight okay so I got the staples on the trigger on the wire and all that does is just keeps it straight so you can see that and when this triggers on this board I've just barely got it on there so I found got some carrot and a couple pieces of kale out of the garden and some of the greens that the chickens and, and this rabbit's been eating in the yard. But there's our completed project. So I'll set this back in there behind the buildings where I've been seeing a rabbit in the afternoon. And uh, so we'll see if we can catch him this evening and, and uh, be able to take it up and give it back to the children. Well, we've had to trap out for a couple nights and I haven't seen the rabbit in the yard. But that's not unusual he kind of comes and goes there's other, a lot of other places for him to hide so keep it out keep an eye on him and keep some fresh uh, vegetables in there for him and hopefully he'll turn up so hope you enjoyed this and learned something about how to make a trap you can catch just about everything in them and uh, had a cat or whatever they need to be caught it's this is the kind of trap that you need and it won't do any harm to the animal. So I thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. And 
and like and share. And we'll stay tuned until next time. And God bless.